four white men lie. Christ bless. <laughs> Most high Christ bless. Welcome to Patient Saints Radio. Radio, radio, radio. radio. What time it is? Radio, radio. It's hey. war time. <laughs> it's war time. Oh man, it's feel good to it feel good to come back, man. It feel good to be All back. All praise to the Most High. All praise. All praise to the Most High. I'm Deacon Malachi, by the way. Hey, I'm Captain Shamaya. Officer Ria. Officer UZL. Hey, 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 listen, I got to say this every week, man. Yuzia, thank you, brother, for not keeping me up here with... Oh, where's that at? Where's that at, Benjamin? He's in New York? Hey, the other Benjamin is in headquarters, Hey, man. hey, I got all the power this week, man. We got two Levi up here. That's Damn. right. That's right. <laughs> Damn. Welcome That's to the right. Levitical Show. Yeah, <laughs> show. welcome <laughs> to the Levitical, <laughs> Levitical Show. <laughs> Welcome to oh, the Levitical Show. That's sure, right. Make sure y'all edit that oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you, you see what this? You see this Judah? I'm telling you, that's what Judah, man. That's why nobody like Judah. You what Judah say? <laughs> he said nobody like Judah. <laughs> <laughs> Judah said, make sure you edit that, that, that edit out. That out. Damn. Damn. I'm telling you, man. Damn. Judah, man. All praise. But anyway, man, I'm glad to be. I'm glad we're here, man. All praise to Mosai. Hey, Cap, what do you have today, man? Hey, man. As, as, crazy, as you man. know, as you know, as you all know. First of all, thank. Thank you to the loyal listeners for always tuning in to Patient yes, Saints sir, Radio. Yes, sir. Uh, and all the brothers and sisters who call in all the time and, and comment. Uh, uh, haters, y'all going to keep hating. Scoffers, y'all going to keep scoffing. That's right. Somebody got to be the two-thirds. That's and Somebody right. got to be put in chains. So I know a lot of the heathens be on here talking reckless. But all praise to you, uh, brothers and sisters, who always tune in to Patient Saints Radio. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, and continue to support. Yes, all right, sir. but as you know, Patient Saints Radio, we always touch on those things that indirectly and directly affect our people. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, and we, you know, we, we're, we're, like, we're like the newscasters of Israel. Yep. So we're going to bring you all of those things that are pertinent to our people. Okay. And we're not going to water, water it down. Uh, you know we're not going to water gonna it down. We're going to bring it out raw. Live you know, and direct. You know we ain't going to water it down. Okay. Hey, listen, here's the thing. There are more than enough coons watering down your news on TV. That's right. <laughs> what you need is righteous prophets of the Lord to bring you the truth according to God's word and in correlation with today's events. That's right. Okay? That's true. Christ told us to watch and pray. So what we doing? We watching and informing our people. Okay? That's what we're doing. We're the, wa we're the watchmen. That's right. That's right. We're the we watchmen. Are. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. We the watchmen. Yeah, we All are right. the watchmen of Israel. As a matter of fact, let's, let's, let's read that. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel, what is that? Ezekiel chapter 3? Ezekiel 317. Uh, 317? Let's read that. Let's read that right quick. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. The watchman, we are the Israelite. We are the watchman. Most like God set us as the watchman of Israel. A watchman look for danger. Read on. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth uh -huh. and give them warning from me. That's what we're here for. Right. We're here to tell you, hey, 
destruction, the nuclear destruction is coming to America. That's right. Get ready. That's right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. The truth is, some of you, your mind is not right. Like Deacon Labaka say, you ain't right. You ain't right. <laughs> you not right. You ain't right. You ain't right. You ain't right. You ain't right. Mm -hmm. Get your mind right. Uh, read on. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. You see that? God said we got to give you warning. When we, what happened when we don't give the wicked the warning? What happened? Nor speak is to warn the wicked from his wicked way. Uh -huh. To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. You hear what Mosai God said? If we don't give you that warning, you're going to die in your sin. And what else? What's going to happen to us? But his blood will I require at thine hand. You hear that? Mosai, that means Mosai God is going to kill us too. He's going to put you to death. And because we didn't give you that warning... He's going to put us to death too. So, that's what we're here for. That's why we're here. Ah, this week, this week, this week. Mm. Listen, what's, man. What's the first one that we're going to get? Mm. Listen, I want to talk about uh, Nate Parker. Nate Parker is that young, young black Jake. Of course, he married to Esau, but he, that's, he's an that's, that's another story. He, he the one who's uh, produced and direct that and start in that new movie, uh, The Birth, Birth of a Nation. Right. Uh, 17 years ago, he was accused of rape by a white woman, a white, a white chick that he they went to they, that he used to go to school with. But the, the, uh, he get arrested. The, the thing went to court, and he was found not guilty. And later on, the chick killed herself. But now the media is bringing this back because of that movie because they said right now that movie if the oscar was held up today that movie would get all the oscars and you know white people don't like that right so now what the media is doing is the media bring that back try to say that the uh the white woman kill herself because of him because of that rape as a matter of fact now they try to say it, uh, they try to second guess. Oh, maybe he did rape her. Right. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He went to the system. He went to the justice system. He was found not guilty. It's just like Bill, yeah, yes, exactly. Right. Just, just like, like Bill uh, Cosby. Bill Cosby. just like Bill Cosby. Right. But you know what I find so interesting about that this story? What I find so interesting is this: the white man. That's why we always he always come back to the white man because some, he's the devil. Some, Oh, you know why? You just can I get a scripture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go to Sirach yeah. chapter yes, twelve. Let's like bring the scriptures out. Mm, mm, mm. Twelve and verse seventeen. Read ten and then jump to seventeen. Sirach chapter twelve and verse ten. Never trust thine enemy, mm. for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So. The Bible says never trust your enemy. Hmm. Never trust your enemy. Not sometimes, not, oh, there's a few good ones. Never trust your enemy. Now, the, some, hey, hey, listen, the black woman trusts them so much, the black woman married them. And, and yeah. defending them. And defending them. Yep. Now jump to verse 17. Verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Mm. So what did Deacon just say? It all boils down to him in some way, some shape, yep, or fashion. Yep, yep, The Bible yep. says if adversity come, you're always going to find Esau in the midst of it. Because they are the right. devil. Because the they're the devil. Wait a minute. Didn't that scripture say wherever Esau is, there's going to be evil? Right. Evil. Isn't that what Malachi right. chapter 1 said? Yeah. Right. Board of wickedness. He's the board of wickedness. Right. Wherever you see wicked, evil, Esau is right there. That's right. In the midst of it, yeah. In the midst of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, <sighs> listen. I was watching that thing again last night and this morning. That thing that Bishop played, a uh, uh, played last night, but the black man was saying, yes. your people, yes. how you're, you're not a nation, you're a disease, you're a virus. A virus, right. You destroy every beautiful thing. You, you, then you pray, he said, then you pray to your God to silence us so you can enjoy, enjoy it. the life we built for you. The happiness. the happiness. This is so heavy. That thing was heavy. That thing was very heavy. Now, I wasn't. I was uh, looking at Fox this week. 
I was looking at a, uh, uh, an article that uh, about um, G- what's her name, Gabriel Union. Gabriel Union. Gabriel Union, the chick that married to Dwayne Wade. Yep. This is what I find so amazing about the black woman. Last night, you see, last night we was playing that chick, that that white blonde chick, the devil she is. What's her name? <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Lauren. Tommy the thing, I, f- I find something very interesting about the white man and the white woman and the black man and the black woman. This is what I find Bring it interesting. Out. The white woman stand by her white man. That's right. 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 Oh. When their white man was lynching us, raping, raping our daughters, killing our sons, the white woman was right there. The proof is in that movie, 13 years of slavery. Mm, hey, well, he yeah. gave one more year. 12 years, 12 12 years, years of slavery. Years That's the proof. Now, she was right there with her white man. That's right. This week, as I'm looking at the uh, on Fox News, here come the black woman. Gabrielle Union make it. Hey, I want to read what she said first. I want to read it there. Then I'm going to show you why Parker was found not guilty. Right. This is what the media is not showing. But we found it. When we're going to bring it up. I'm going to show you why they find this brother not guilty. He didn't whip her. She confessed he didn't whip her. And I'm going to show you the the secret phone call between her and Nate Parker. That he did not whip her. That's why he was found not guilty. The media is not going to tell you that. But I'm going to read to you what the black woman said. About the black man that was found not guilty 17 years ago. Mm. How many years ago? This is what the black woman said. I want you to read it. It's right up there. Read it. Gabrielle Union, who plays a silent rape victim in Nate Parker's Birth of a Nation, has written an opinion piece for the Los Angeles Times. Oh, wait. So she's in the movie. Oh, yeah. She's in the movie. She's in his movie. Oh, yeah. She's in his movie. She's in the movie. But I'm going to show you what... Can I call her a hoe? Yeah. What the? Oh yeah, yeah. What the hoe say? She's an adulterous hoe. Shoot, yeah, right. an adulterous <laughs> hoe. This is what she said. Read about her own experiences as a 19-year-old rape victim and her struggle to deal with the allegations over Parker's case. Wait a minute. First of all, his case have nothing to do with you. Right. You cannot compare what happened to you with what happened with him. That have nothing to do with you. But we don't. Hey, guess what? If she felt so compelled by it, why didn't she say, I'm not going to be in your movie? Exactly. Hmm. She still took his check. Right. Oh, yeah. She still took his check. Right. Read. Damn. Rape is a wound that throbs long after it heals, the actress wrote. And for some of us, the throbbing gets too loud. Post-traumatic stress syndrome is very real and chips away at the soul and sanity of so many of us who have survived sexual violence. The actress was raped at gunpoint at the age of 19 while working at a shoe store, which led to her becoming an advocate for sexual assault victims. Hey, listen. I'm not saying it's okay for her to get raped. That's not what we're talking about. What I'm saying is it's two different situations. She cannot take what happened to her when she was 19 and and put it in what happened with Ned Parker because Ned Parker was found not guilty. That's it. That's have nothing to do with him. Read on. Yes, sir. Parker was accused and acquitted of rape in 1999. Variety reported... Don't, don't jump past that word. He was what? Acquitted. He was what? Acquitted. Wait, Not guilty. Not guilty. Parker was accused and acquitted of rape in 1999. Variety reported on August 16 that his accuser committed suicide four years ago. Since Nate Parker's story was revealed to me, I have found myself in a state of stomach-churning confusion, Union Road. <laughs> Read that again. <laughs> Read that again, the uh, black woman. <laughs> Read that. You see, the white men know. Oh, man. I don't have to have no evidence against the black man. All I got to do is put doubt. Here come the black woman. Read that again, what she said. Although it is... Excuse me. Since... Where are we? Oh, I'm so sorry. Although it is... It's often difficult to read. No, 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 no. Since, scroll down. Yeah. Since Nate Parker's story was revealed to me, I have found myself in a state of stomach churning confusion, Union wrote. I cannot take these allegations lightly. What the hell are you talking about? You cannot take these allegations lightly. He was found not guilty. Right. What the hell are you talking about? Wasn't there just an Edomite release from jail? 
who actually was convicted of rape. He only did three months in jail. Three months. She didn't say nothing about him. Wait, why is she outside of his courtroom? Nope, nope. Because he was actually convicted. Convicted. And only got three months. Three months. But she ain't going to say nothing about that. She hasn't said anything about that. And guess what? There was a black football player who got 20 years. Yeah. Same crime. She ain't going to say nothing about that. No, 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 no. Do not speak against white supremacy. Do not speak against white supremacy or the paycheck is not going to come. We don't. Union wrote, I cannot take these allegations lightly. On that night, 17 odd years ago, did Nate have his dates consent? This chick, It's very possible he thought that he did. Yet by his own admission, he did not have verbal affirmation. And even if she never said no, silence certainly does not equal yes. I thought the saying was, no means no. Uh, Isn't that the saying? No means no. Hey, how much more you got of this? <laughs> because I'm getting, I'm getting mad right. right now. Right. Uh, now, you hear what she said? <laughs> now, this we're gonna read the phone call between Nate Parker and that white chick who accused him of rape. He's right in front of you, officer. Read what, read what happened. This is why Nate Parker found not guilty. The whole lie. <laughs> The whole lie. Oh, man. And we're going to oh, show man. you. Oh, we, this is what the media is not showing, is not putting up there about this white chick. Mm -hmm. This is the phone call that takes place between her and Nick Parker the next day. This is the phone call. Now, I want you to read it. Yes, sir. NP, Nate Parker. Hello? Nate? Yeah, what's up? This is so-and-so. Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm really sorry I yelled at you last night. We just need to talk. Yeah, that's all right. Um, let me change the phones, all right? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. I am like two months late for my period. Huh? And I'm She's studying him. She's two months late for her period. Mm -hmm. We know? And I'm having an appointment at Rittenor tomorrow, and I'm really scared, and I thought, I don't know. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. This phone call takes place two months later. Yes. That's after that this the alleged rape. rape. Not not the next day. I said the next day, but the, no, two months two later. Two months later, right. This is the phone call that's take place between her and Nate Parker two months later. Right. Right. Now, so so what so what that means is two months later, she's gonna charge this man, oh, they're with me. Right. They're with me. That make no this is the phone call. Mm -hmm. Read on. And I'm having an appointment at Rittenor tomorrow, and I'm really scared. And I don't know what to do, and you don't think it's yours, but what if it's the other guys that was in the room? You hear that? You hear that? She's telling him, I might be pregnant, but I, but it's not, I don't think, you don't think, you, you don't think this is your baby. What if it's some of the other guys that was in the room? Because she had sex with more than one guy at that time. So it was a gangbang. Right. That's a gangbang, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was a hoe. You was a hoe. Keep on reading. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to counseling because I don't know what to do about this. As of now, I'm working two jobs, you know. I'm taking 13 credits, and I don't know what to do. This is Nate Parker. Ah, oh, you're going to, to an unintangible, what, what, you're going to the hospital tomorrow to see if you're pregnant? I know, I, I mean, I'm having all the symptoms, and I'm late for two months. I've never been late before. This is Nate Parker. How many people have you slept with since that night? Huh? Nobody, Nate. I was just wondering, just wondering. Yeah? Mm. You know, like I said before, this is serious. You know what I mean. Um, who have you talked to about it? Uh, when you say counseling, do you mean interjecting, right? Through the school? No, through the school. I'm seeing an off-campus counselor because I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm really scared. I mean, I really don't know what to do. And I know you don't know who it is. I don't know what to do. Um, well, what are you thinking about? You know, what? I mean, I just, what do you want to do? I don't know. I mean, it's not even like we know whose baby it is in the first place. You hear that? She said, it's not even we know that whose baby is in the first place because she sleep with many guys that night. And later on, if you keep on reading, she's going to say, oh, she was drunk. Mm -hmm. But keep on reading. Nay Parker. Don't cry. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm willing to help you as much as I can. I mean, with anything. Because, well, I mean, shit, like that, you know what I mean. Getting pregnant 
off of some stupid SHIT doesn't de- doesn't know one deserves oh, that. No one deserves that, you know? And it's unfair to everyone. You know what I mean, especially the child if you have it or whatever you know. Can you tell me honestly how many people I slept with that so, night? So, by the way, the, 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 the rape was in, what, 1999? And she Alleg- killed her Alleg- alleged, alleged rape. The alleged, alleged, rape. alleged rape was in 1999. In 2012, she killed herself, which is have nothing to do with the rape. That was right. Not saying that 2012. That's thir- what I 13, 13 That was 13 years, years later. 13 years later. That's have nothing to do with the rape. But yet, they bring back up saying, oh, she killed herself because of that. Yep. Wow. Hey, all Esau got to do is, is put doubt in you. Put doubt. That's what Esau's doing. That's Just put do. doubt. Put doubt. We don't. Can you tell me honestly how many people I slept with that night? So I know what I'm looking at. So, so now she's asking him, please tell me how many, sleep, how many people I slept that night. What the hell? Mm. Mm. But yet, she said, oh, she was raped. Right. You don't? Yeah. Well, it was only, you know what I mean, the only person, people who was there was me and the person that I was with that night when we met my roommate. Yeah, but didn't like um, three people come, in, come home with us? Nate Parker, no. Yeah, sounds like <laughs> Ken and Tim. The one that gave us the ride. No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't at all. Hey, he, uh, hold on. What she's doing is she's fishing. Right. Yeah. She's throwing a rod out there and hoping he gives somebody's name, and yep. she's going to pin that baby. Right. Yeah. Hey, that baby right. there, yours. Yep. <laughs> I'm the daddy of that there, pap, that pappy of that pappy. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pappy of that there, baby. I was, I was the pappy. Man, that's <laughs> Nate Parker. He didn't at all. He uh, didn't even. He wasn't even in like he had left. He more he more or like dropped us off, you know. Yeah. So and um, I really appreciate I really appreciate you calling. You know what I mean? Talking like this, having a civil conversation. So they're having a civil conversation. How the hell they having a civil conversation? But he whip you. Mm. Wait a minute. That make no sense. Mm. That's what. What two months later? Mm. We don't. I just wanted to let you know that. Um, I'm trying to think it if, um, excuse me, I'm trying to think if, well, what are you, what are you, what do you want to do? Do you, do you know yet? You know what he's asking her? You're going to commit, a, you know, abortion. Yeah. He's been hinting that the whole way yeah. down. What do you want to do? Do you, do you know yet? This is her response. I have no clue. I'm just still confused about that night. Nate, and that's, I mean, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't want to have a kid and then, like, tell it, you know, look, I slept with a whole bunch of people when I'm drunk. Because you're a hoe. Right. <laughs> oh, now all of a sudden, now you don't want to have a kid while you, while you don't want to tell your kid, hey, hey, listen, by the way, I don't know who your baby daddy is because I was a hoe. Damn. That's what happened. You were a hoe. Mm-hmm. You sleep with a butcher dude that night. Right. You can't even remember who, how many, how many guys. This is some sick stuff. But yet, you choose to, you choose to pin it in the black man, oh, he raped me. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, what about all these other niggas that was in the womb? Right. right. Damn. We don't? Right. You know, and that's how you came to be. I can't, I don't know about doing that, but I don't believe it in abortion either. I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, I was really drunk, and I understand, this Nate, I understand, I'm sorry. She um, was really drunk. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. If she was really drunk, how did she know there was a bunch of dudes in the womb? Right. She remember the guy that gave him a ride and everything. Yeah, she yeah. remember everything, but she was really drunk. Right. Lying. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Wasn't, that that, wasn't that that song, Blame It on the Alcohol? Yeah. Remember that song? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what these devils always try to do. Blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the liquor. Mm-hmm. Nah, you was perfectly sober, okay, mm-hmm. to do all your, your evil. And, and, and look, hey, look, at the end of the day, I blame you brothers for dealing with these damn devils, man. Yes, That's right. Yep. At the end of the day, I blame you for dealing with these devils because the scriptures tell us not to deal with them. That's right. Stay the hell away from Becky. Right. This is this is And Nate. we're gonna read it too. Right. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna read it. This is Nate Parker's response. <clears throat> I understand. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, and I'm like, like I told you before, you know what I mean. You know that, excuse me, you know the way that everything happened, now looking back on it. We can both say that it was just unnecessary. None of it should have happened anyway, you know what I mean? And I mean, I'm here, I mean, to help you any way I can, you know what I mean? I know that it's effed up, it's an effed up situation, 
like you said, you're hurting and stuff. You're going through it. Um, I want to help you. You know what I mean. Anything that I could do, tell me. I don't. He's, he said, <laughs> I'll pay for the abortion. Yeah, that's right, what he's saying. Right. <laughs> that's what he's saying. Right. I don't know what to say because I've never been in a situation like this before. You know, like you're saying that you don't want to bring, you know, a kid in the world and all that. I know for a fact that it's not mine, but let's just say for the sake of saying there ain't, I wouldn't know what, I don't know what to do. How do I know, how do, how do you know it's not yours, Nate? Because I was protected, that's why. But hey, oh, 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 oh. I want you to read that again. She said, she said to him, right. read that again? How do, how do you know it's not yours, Nate? So she asked, Nate, how do you know this baby's not yours? What did he respond was? Because I, I was protected, that's why. He wore a condom. Mm -hmm. We don't, he's going to tell you that later on, we don't. But the morning after when I was really groggy, when you, like, I was laying on my stomach and you had sex with me and you come on my back, Nate Parker. That's true. Oh, I. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. This is some crazy stuff. Demon. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He raped you, but in the morning you have sex with him again? Right. Hmm. Right. Bring it out. That's make no, that makes no sense. He, you, you accuse this brother of rape, but in the morning, oh, you raped me last time, but this morning I want you to bang me again. Hey. This is a hoe. And remember, we can't leave out the fact that she recorded this phone conversation. She, not him. He, she don't know who recorded this. She's the one who recorded this phone conversation. This is some crazy stuff. Wow. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, by the way, by the way, officer, he with me last night, but when I woke up this morning, I want to have some real thing. I let him bang me again. Mm. Excuse me? Mm. That's some crazy... That, now you know why he found not guilty. Right. Because, in that, because that rape never take place. That's why he was found not guilty. That never take place. But the media is not going to tell you this. Right. Yeah, why didn't Esau bring this up? Nope, Esau's not going to bring that out. Hey, you know who's going to bring it out? We're going to bring it out. Yeah, that's that's right. right. That's right. Esau's going to get mad. And this is public This is public, public record. Yeah, that's public record. So Esau mm -hmm. does all this digging, all yep. this searching in order to get the truth of the story. Right. And now this is public record, but they never brought this out. Nope. Hey, let me tell you something. What, what Esau does not want, when they realize that this movie could stir up the minds of our people as the Israelites bring out the truth of this Bible, the curses that it fits them. What happened is our people are going to start putting two and two together. Yeah, exactly. They said, oh, no, no, no. We got to shut this thing down. Yep. We got to deface this man, make him look like a damn demon, yep. rapist. Just accuse him and nobody will go and see his movie. Man. Exactly. Hey, that's Captain. exactly what's going on. Hey, Captain, that's heavy. You said that you remember when we all got together to go see 12 Years as a Slave? Yes. <clears throat> that you movie was... was in 13 years? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, that movie was placed so much under covers. Like, they showed it in a totally different area of Atlanta. Like, Re Remember, it wasn't in all the theaters. No, we had to no. go and search for a theater yeah. for 12 Years a Slave right. that was yeah. playing it. Right. Yeah. Mm. Esau, Esau tried to keep it under control. Right. But Damn. listen, listen. I'm glad those things happened so the Israelites may repent. That's right. That's right. Because I'm telling you, those things are going to open the eyes of our people. That's right. Our people's gonna put two and two together, be like, wait, wait a minute, something's not right. This is the damn devil right here. It's, this man is the devil. Mm. Uh, there's more on that. There's more. We oh, don't. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that. That's Nate. What she said. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why you guys did this to me in the first place. Why are you making it like that? That's my only thing. The morning after. Okay, this is what I'm saying. The morning after. You know what I mean. You said I'll have sex with you. It wasn't even like that. You know what I mean. If there was anything wrong, you would have said it. But you said nothing was wrong. You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm. So Ned is telling her, hey, so if there was something wrong, why you have sex with me that morning? Mm -hmm. You said nothing was wrong. Mm -hmm. You never said, oh, last night, guys, you guys raped me. But... You said you said not, nothing was wrong oh. because we had sex that morning. Oh, so she didn't get up and go to the police station? Nope. Or to the hospital? Yes. Nope. She didn't get up and go to the police station. She get up and say, hey, I want you to bang me again. And put it on my back. And I, and I want you to... Uh, drop all the... I want you to drop this seat in my back. <laughs> Don't clean it off. Just leave it right there. Oh, hey, Deacon. That's, that's, Deacon. that's some nasty <laughs> chicks, man. <laughs> Listen to this, right? Listen to this. It says, but you said nothing was wrong, you know? 
That's why I'm just like, whoa, why is she saying something was wrong? This is her response. In the morning, Nate, I hardly remembered anything. You remember him you're just, you're just skeeting remember, on your damn back. You just remember that. <sighs> you remember who gave you a ride for the skeet session? Uh-huh. <laughs> right. She got selective memory. Yeah, yeah. selective. Yeah. yeah, we don't, hey, we that, don't. That's Edomite. We're going to bring it out. This is Nate Parker. So, so y'all Negro can stay away from Becky. Stay the hell away from this white woman. Damn. When you see Becky, run. Run. Mm, mm, mm. Nate Parker. Okay. Her response. I mean, I didn't honestly, Nate, I didn't want to have sex with you that night. I mean, everybody that I had sex with before you have always been in a relationship. Nate Parker. Okay. And I just don't go. I'm, and I mean, did you just go out and bring another person in the room? Nate Parker, no. Or did the other person just walk in? Nate Parker, no. Actually, then how did he come to be there? Nate Parker, because you hung out with me and the person ever since we left the silver screen. Yeah, but how did, how did that happen to me, having sex with him? Nate Parker, because we were all hanging out together, and then me and you started doing stuff. And me and then me and you eventually started having sex or whatever, and he was still here, and you know what I mean. It started happening, and you didn't stop it. You know what I mean. But Nate, I was so out of it. I was my whole body was numb. I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But but let me get this straight. No, but isn't there a part where he she started giving the other guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna yeah, keep on reading. Keep get on reading. <laughs> Remember, she just said she was out of it. Her she body just was said numb. her body was numb. She was out of she it, right? right? She couldn't stop anything. She couldn't stop it, but we right. don't. Nate Parker, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Okay, this is my whole, my whole thing. I've been thinking about this and everything. There is no way, and I say to myself, I know for a fact there's no way that you did anything or said anything to assure that you didn't want to do what you were doing. You were all for it. You know what I mean? Like, when you said something, you had a dick in your mouth. And the dick and somebody on top of you. Wait, wait a minute, damn. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This beach here. <laughs> beach? Wait a minute. She has a <laughs> penis in her mouth. What a minute. How did the penis get in her mouth? Uh, she f slipped and fell. She slipped and fell in yeah. the penis in her mouth? Yeah. But she didn't remember? <laughs> No, she don't she remember. forgot how it got there. Oh, my, I cannot control my body, but yet, but I was I was able to pick up a penis put in my mouth. Right. <laughs> Bag full of dicks walking around. This whole <laughs> this whole right there, man. Bitch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You were all uh. yeah, you so he says, you were all for it. You know what I mean? Like when you said something, you had a penis in your mouth. And the penis and somebody on top of you, the whole thing about it, you were holding. <laughs> It 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 being different if you were just laying there, but you weren't. You were active. You know what I mean. He said, "Listen, right. you was not just sit uh, on laying there, let the penis slip. You actually pick up the penis and put it in your mouth. <laughs> you hoe. That's consent, uh, that's consent. Gabriel. Union. That's consent. Right. That's not rape. That's yeah, consent. Gabriel Union. Don't tell Gabby that. Consent, Gabriel right. Union. That's consent. Right. Consent of being a thought. A thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right." This is this is her response. I can't see that. I don't remember. I I, I just don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah. Hey, we got a phone call. <laughs> hey, this 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 Moses is looking like Moses. I don't Moses know if we just take the call of, after Moses that. just like let the whole phone call sink in. <laughs> he just later Moses. Hey, yeah, let, let let the call. Go. All right, put uh, uh hold on. Put the put the put the caller on. Oh, she hung up. Oh, she right, hung call, up. Call, call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. We apologize. Uh uh. Producer Moses sitting there <laughs> in cloud nine. Nah, he, he said it was a call. He said it was a call. But hey, we had to get to the meat of it real quick to show that it wasn't rape. It was actually consented. Okay. You finish that? No, there's a little more. Uh huh. Go ahead. This is Nate Parker. This is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Can you give me this much? Would you admit that, or would you say that? Things could have happened that you may have been involved with, <laughs> somebody but you just put, don't remember. Somebody put, maybe she thought it was a twist in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right twix or left twix? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
man. <laughs> this is her response. I I honestly don't know because I know if I wasn't drunk, Nate Parker, okay, her response. I wouldn't have done that, Nate Parker. Okay, well, do I know that? You say you were all this drunk. I really didn't know that you were all that drunk. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I can't control your drinking. And I'm, 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 I don't know exactly how drunk you were. I don't know. I was drinking. You were drinking. Everybody was drinking. And I didn't know that you were all that drunk. Why? Because you were like, yeah, let's go to the house. That's cool. Let's go. You know we went. In other words, he's saying that you wanted to have sex. That's why you were like, let's go to the house. Right. I'm horny. I want some penis. I want one in my mouth, one in my back. Right. Love twix, you left long twix. time. Left twist. <laughs> 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 uh, you finished, bro? <laughs> no, there's more. Yeah, let's go to the house. That's cool. Let's go. We were talking and everything. I mean, this is what I'm saying. If you were, I can understand that you said, Nate, you know what? I mean... I was drunk, and I'm not sure I did these things, but I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it was against my will. I'm not going to say that. But all Wait a I'm, minute. What did she is, say? Is that, is that her? That's what Nate, did she that's say? Nate, that's Nate telling her, like, you should have been like this. So he said, I mean, this is what I'm saying. If you were drunk, I could understand that you said, Nate, you know what I mean. I was drunk, and I'm sure I did things, but I don't remember. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it was against my will. I'm not going to say that. But all I'm saying is I really didn't remember. Nate Parker. That's different. That's different. But for So she said I'm not going to say it was against my will. Right. right. That's why that, he was acquitted. Right. That's why he was acquitted. Right. That's different. That's different. But for you to say that you were just passing out and this and that, it's totally. That's just wrong. I'm saying that you were completely conscious you may not remember. You may say that you don't remember now, and I could understand you saying that. Maybe, but you were completely conscious. You know what I mean. You were awake. You know what I mean. You were giving head. There's more. So she was giving. She yeah, was giving fellatio. Yeah, that's 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 good. That's Damn. Good. He said to her, "You a hoe? Now you don't remember how many penis was in your mouth, but you was giving head to everybody in the womb, left and right." You see, this is, this is the thing with Esau. Yep. This is the thing with Esau. A white woman can walk in a womb, blow, give everybody a blow job. <laughs> and then the next day she wake up and say, everybody in the womb with me. Right, right. Hey. And, and it's the same thing that happened with Bill Cosby. Right. They find 50 Esau. Oh, yes, he touched me the one way. Yes, he put something in my joint. Yes, he... It's got to be true. Here come the black woman. It's got to be true. It's got to be true. 50 women? 50 women? It's got to be true. But Esau do have not one evidence, I, I, not one proof that he did that. Right. All they have to do is put the doubt. And you know what that come down to, Cap? There is no unity in the black community. That's right. Damn. That's why you can, and in and, 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 and the blink of an eye, you can turn against each other. Yep. Because Esau know we hate each other. Damn, Esau know there's a unity. Yep. In the blink of an eye, we can. Blink of an eye. We can, yeah. But we, Esau said, hey, so and so do this. You're not going to say, hey, where's the evidence? Oh, yeah, yeah, he might do it. Because the white man said he did it. Yes, he did it. Right. Oh, that's just like the, the Maggie, yeah. who doesn't have to prove she's a Jew. No. She just says it. She just says it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, hey, Deacon, I got a quick story. Quick story. Um, When I was in the military, um, it, um, the school that you go to training for, mm -hmm. for your job, is called uh, AIT. So we're about to, we're getting ready to graduate. Like the last night, they, 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 uh, they, they give you like, they pretty much let you do what you, what you want because you pretty much, you become a soldier now. You're, you're, act, you're an actual soldier now. So they, they, they let you, you know, go out. You can go, go drink. I mean, party. They let you party. They let you party. Because the whole time, there's no partying, none of that. It's strictly, you know, training. So they let you go out. So that night, um, you know, we, we go to a little bar, a little club thingy. So that night, um, three brothers, they hook up with a, with an with a ugly Edomite, right? A, key, a cave beast. So, you know, they, they do what they do to her, right? 
So the next day, they're telling everybody what they did. So the Edomite, she finds out that the story is going around that she's a thot and she did it with these three brothers. So she breaks down and cry and goes and goes tell the, pl the platoon sergeant, pretty much the uh, supervisor, people that's over us. She tells them she was raped by these three brothers. But what she don't know is one of the brothers videotaped everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he sent it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's the thing. What if he didn't? Yep. What if he didn't? Yep. If he that's didn't, that's right. all Esau needs is is uh that little bit of doubt. Hey, you know what's so heavy, Cat? You remember back in the day well shoot, I was young then, but remember that basketball player, Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain? You remember him? Right. And you know what was what's, what's heavy? What's heavy? Captain <laughs> Captain Amaziah just sent me this too. Uh -huh. Now, uh, Esau. What Esau did was he gave the other camps an article about Bishop. Remember that? Yep. Yes. That he was going around uh, arresting people and yep. doing all yep. kind of yep. stuff, yep. right? Yep. And you see how fast everybody turned on IUIC? Yep. Immediately. Actually, what is that? That's not even the first time. They keep giving some miraculous way or reason. These people get certain information. Now the Israelites turn on IUIC. Yeah. Because what? Esau knows he poses that little bit of doubt. We turn each other like savage beasts. Yeah, right. we do. Right. We do. Right. Even ants. those who call themselves we painted Israel. Yes. That's the point. Yes. That's it right yes. there. Dude. Even remember, remember that remember that nick that nigga? Yeah. That's saying that, oh yeah, the deacon went over there and uh yeah. Canada. Oh, and he, Canada. Canada. He's, he right. said he's a warlock. He can teleport. That Negro. He he teleported back in time for Sabbath class. Yeah. Wow. And you had all these brothers and yeah. sisters online saying, I knew it. Yeah. Nigga, teleport? Hey. And they were saying, you know what? They do have the most Levites in their camp. I believe it. I believe yeah. it. Hey, you nigga. <laughs> hey, somebody put up a post that right. IUIC has their own money. Right. Right. And you know how many people believe they that? They went berserk. I knew it. They right. worked for the Rothschilds. Right. Yeah. They what's yeah, that? Bro. Um what's that? What's that? Um uh, the Bilderbergs the, the No, what's the what's the, the they Illuminati? Illuminati. They, there you go. <laughs> Damn. That said, <laughs> bro, that said I U I C have the same lawyer with Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Hey. That hey. said I U I C hired the same lawyer Obama had. Hey, so we could go whole camp on the White House lawn then. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Damn. This is this is let me tell you what the point is this. The point is this. The black men, the black women don't have to have proof of anything. Mm -hmm. They believe anything. Right. That's why Gabriel Union can go and want her mouth to the white man talking about I'm doubting this brother right here. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He f he went to the legal system. He was found not guilty. And this is the proof that that's why he was not guilty. Right. That's why he was not guilty. But here come the black woman. Oh, well, I'm having doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes even though she didn't say no. Wait a minute. So, so she had a penis in her mouth and one in her back. <laughs> Who put it there? She put it there. She had right twix, left twix. And, they, and they, now, she, now she got the right to call rape? Well, that that's, that's make no damn sense. Nate said he was, she was talking with it in her mouth. So in her I, mouth. General it, conversation. But yet, oh, yes, yes, I don't remember. I was out. No, it's not that she don't remember. She's embarrassing she don't know who the baby belonged to. Right. She's embarrassing that she has so many penis in there that night. Mm. She don't know whose seed is in there. Right. Isn't, that, isn't that what we have all, all, uh, uh, every day now in the television shows? I sleep with 60 of them. I don't know who the baby daddy is. Right, Maury. Hey. And Moy Povic, <clears throat> yeah. she has so much penis, she don't remember who was it. Hey, can I, can I, can I show, can I show that mindset of us turning on each other? Yeah, is, 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 is the way they made the slave. Yeah, yeah. this is read the, it, will, read the Willie it. Lynch letter. This is the Willie Lynch letter. Bring it out. The making of a slave. Bring it, Bring it out. Okay, this is how slaves were made. I'm gonna read page nine. Willie Lynch wrote this to all of the the, the Southern plantation owners. He was a Caribbean slave owner. And found a damn surefire way to keep his slaves in line. And he shared it with the Edomites in this land. It says, don't forget, you must pitch the old black, excuse me, the old black male versus the young black 
and the young black male against the old black male. You must use the dark-skinned slaves versus the light-skinned slaves. And the light-skinned slaves versus the dark-skinned slaves. Hey, didn't, didn't Sparkly had a movie about that? Yep. We don't? You must use the female versus the male. Yep. And the male versus the female. You must also have your white servants and overseers distrust all blacks. Just like today. Right. Just like today. Right. Your judges, your police force, your yep. teachers. Yep. But it is necessary that your slaves trust and depend on us. That's heavy. Mm. He said, teach them to hate each other. Yep. But they must depend, depend on the white depend man. Depend on the white man. <laughs> That's why you see today, the black man, the black people attitude is, we cannot, we cannot do nothing for ourselves if the white man is not involved. Right. That's why we still got that same attitude, that same mind frame. Mm. Esau have to be involved. If Esau's not in there, right. he's not right. Yep. That's why we still got that mind for him. We don't. Here's the, it says, they must love, respect, and trust only us. <laughs> so it says, no matter what they build together, he says, we can just throw a little bit of doubt in there and it'll all fall apart because yep. of the deep-rooted hatred that they've been breeding in us for hundreds of years. Wow. It just doesn't go away like that. What's going to wash that away? God's word. Yeah, that's it. The Bible. God's that's word. That's what's going to change the mind of our people. Mm. God's word. Right. right. Real quick, we, we got we to get on East, uh, us dealing with Becky. Mm. But real quick, Romans 12 and 2. Bring it out. Wow. Romans 12 and 2. Bring it out. Bring it the out. Bible says how we can be cleansed from this mindset. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Come on. And be not conformed to this world. So part of being conformed to this world is the Negro slave mentality. That was taught in Babylon the Great. The slave was made in Babylon the Great. Mm -hmm. The Negro was made in Babylon the Great. Because guess what? How do we know that? In all the other captivities, yes, we were in captivity. We were in servitude. But we, know who, we knew who we were. There's a whole, different, there's a whole difference now with Babylon. Babylon has wiped our minds clean and has implanted what they want to implant in us. You know, like a, a, uh, like a robot, yep. how you put the program chip in the robot and it does what it wants. You turn, you that's control it, it, turn left, bro, turn right. That's exactly what we right. become. That's we become we robot. Become. Deacon Yawasab says we came off an assembly line. He's 100% right. Yep. right. Yep. What do you say? The, the Negro is fashioned yes. and, created, and, and, and in created in America. In America. Right. Because right. guess what? And we just read part of the programming that mm. went into us. Yep. To hate one another and to love Esau. Yep. Mm. Read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the Bible says, when you stay in God's word, your, the, the programming that you have gotten in Babylon can be washed away. Mm -hmm. It can be purged. But guess what? If you have not adhered to God's laws, to God's word, you're still in a nigger slave mentality. And that is why Gabrielle Union can stand here and say that about Nate Parker when mm. her situation has nothing to do with Nate Parker. Yep. The, the information that, uh, that we, we found is freely available. That's why right. would you not do the research before making such a comment after you took his damn check? Right. Well, man, that's, that's but, 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 Cap, she's <laughs> not going to. Right. She's you not know, going to. You know right. why? Because her paycheck is going to stop. Right. Because you know this. That white chick, that blonde, that blonde bembo white chick. What's her name? Uh, what is that white chick name? The one that Bishop was playing yesterday. Tommy. 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 Tommy Lowen. Lauren. Tommy Lowen. Lauren. Lauren. She get on. She get. She Tommy got, Devil. Tommy the Devil Lowen. Bembo. She got. She got in the in the. In, she got in the news and defending her white man, completely defending them. And she got the nerve to say, hey, that's, uh-uh, I don't see the injustice. I don't see where the white man is, uh-uh, injustice. I don't see this, I don't see that, uh-uh. Listen, but the black woman do the opposite. The black woman take the black man, throw him under the train. That's, uh, that's, that's, what, that's, she's that's what she said. <laughs> she said right she there. read 700 pages of the trial transcript, and she said, I still don't actually know, Right. Union admits. Nor does anyone know who was in that room. Who was right. not who, who in the was, room. Who was not in that room. Keep reading. Union also said she took part in the birth of a nation 
to give voice to rape victims. Read on. In her but silence, I thought she played a silent yeah, rape victim. Right, right. Read on. In her silence, she represent countless black women who have been and continue who, to be violated. Who was the allegations made? <laughs> what the hell? Who was the allegation was made against? Was it against it's, black women or a white woman? The sisters. Oh man, yo. I didn't. I didn't get to that part. But but guess what? With that being said, mm -hmm. in the movie she was in, the timeline she would play that that rape victim. Mm -hmm. Who was doing the raping? The white man. Exactly. He saw. That's the he point. Saw. Yeah, yeah, Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. So don't she want justice for all of the rapings that happened exactly. with Esau? Nope. You're in the spirit, Cap. Nope. Exactly. Damn. Nothing was hey. said about that. Hey, we just read. <laughs> Willie Lynch said, put the female against the male. Mm -hmm. So what mentality is Gabriel Union in? Hmm. A damn nigga slave mentality. That's right. Damn. She read 700 pages. We 700 read, damn pages. We read the phone call. and we <laughs> She's there. Hey, we hey. read one page phone call. We read one page phone call. We, found, we already know why Everything. he found out guilty. Oh, right. man. Hey, she's there. Right. She's, she's, hey, let me tell you something, man. The minute Dwayne Wade got uh, broke no more money, she's going to end up marrying the white man. And the white man's going to call her a nigga bitch. Just yep. like, just like the, the, what Bishop went over last night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nigga hey, bitch. You know what? I want you to read that next line. It says, Union who is married. Okay. Union who is married to NBA player Dwayne Wade uh -huh. also stressed the importance of parents educating their children. Here's what. And I'm glad she said that. Because we are parents up here. Yeah. And we take pride in educating our children. That's right. Let's go to Joshua 23. Oh, bring it out. And verse 11, mm -hmm. Joshua 23, Joshua chapter 23 and verse 11. Come on. Take good heed, therefore, unto, the, unto yourselves that ye love the Lord your God. So here's what we teach our children to love the Lord. Keep his commandments with faith in his son. Continue to read. Else, if ye do in any wise go back. And cleave unto the remnant of these nations. Unto the heathen. Unto the so-called white man. Unto the so-called Arab man. The so-called uh, African. The true African. Not Israel scattered in Africa. The real Africans. Go unto the so-called East Indian. Go ahead. Even these that remain among you. Uh-huh. And shall make marriages with them. Marriages also include sleeping with them. Sleeping with them. If you go back and start sleeping with these heathens, which is what Nate Parker did, yep. here's something his parents should have taught him. Exactly. Read. And go unto them, uh -huh. and they unto you, uh -huh. know for a certainty. No, it's a guess. Know for a certainty uh -huh. that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you. So God says, guess why you on the bottom? <laughs> Guess why you in the court trying to trying to plead your freedom? Guess why you're in the abortion clinics? Guess why you're the high school dropouts? Guess why you're the highest murder rate of, of, of a people? Because of what we're reading here. Read. But there shall be snares and traps mm. unto you. What are these other nations going to be? They shall be snares and traps unto you. Isn't, Nate, isn't that what we're, what we're reading now we're with reading. Nate Parker? Wow. Nate Parker dealt with the other nations, and she ended up being a snare and a trap unto him. him. Hey. But it's not just him. Right. He's not just him. Hey. Hey. Tiger hey. Woods. Cap, 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 cap. Right. cap. You know what's Go. so heavy about what you said? Nate Parker didn't learn his lesson. Mm -mm. He, he did not learn his mm -hmm. lesson. The white woman accusing him of rape, he went and married, still married a white woman, have kids by her. Yes, yes. Yes. He still married a white the white woman. Another hoe. Just like just like uh, OJ Simpson. Right, right. Then learn his lesson. Tiger Woods. OJ Simpson found not guilty. What OJ Simpson did when he came out of jail? Yep. He go hook up with Becky again. Right. Hey. Right. Tiger Woods' wife cleaned his Tiger, clock. Tiger Woods Tiger, Tiger Woods do the same thing. He go and marry Becky. He accused of sleeping with other Beckys. His wife took half. Hey, and she Today, hey, Tiger would Tiger would have been winning. Hey, 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 hey. It he doesn't make got, sense. What? He hasn't since got that thing happened. He hasn't gotten another ugly green jacket nope. since. No. Nope. Wow. That's an ugly ass jacket. That's it. Make sure. Hey, that, make Tiger that. Woods, if you had some power in this land, you would have changed that ugly ass green jacket. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Hey. hey. Go, oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. You're in spirit. Go ahead. Also, Lamar Odom. Yes, yes. Lamar yep, Odom yes. was in a coma drooling on himself. <laughs> 
and the white woman and and they had they had Khloe Kardashian like she the damn victim. Right, yep. Right. right. How she the victim? <laughs> right. Yep. He Man. went he went to the to the whorehouse in was it Nevada or California? Got drugged by other Edomites. He ended up in a damn coma. His wife acting like she the victim. Right. Yep. Damn. You got to be kidding me. And she was waiting for him to drop death. Right. Oh, she couldn't wait. She, she couldn't wait for him. She, couldn't wait for she, him. Couldn't wait. she mad thing. as hell he ain't dropped death. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. She mad as hell he ain't dropped death. Hey, she looked at him like, you nigga, how right. dare you live? Right. Damn. How dare you live, nigga? Wow. Can we get a, a verse to back that up, a scripture to back that up? Another, another. Let's get a Ciroc 9 Yo, man. Three. Yo, we, I'm hanging with, your, I'm hanging with <laughs> your brothers, man. I'm going to need some security to get out of here. <laughs> Hey, just going back, going back to what the captain and deacon brought out about these other nations are snares and traps. Um, even <laughs> read the script, bro. Read the script. This is this is crazy. Ecclesiasticus uh -huh. chapter nine and verse three. Mm -hmm. Meet not within harlot. Read, lest thou fall into her snares. Now that's going into Israel, but it still also applies with these other wicked nations, man. This brother, <laughs> hey, he got out of that by the skin of his teeth. Yeah. By the skin of his teeth. Yeah. But true. she had it all set up for him. Yep. He was done. Yeah. He was done. He was about to do some time, man. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. He if, if, if she had her way, he would have did was, the time. Oh yeah, he would have. That seven. Yeah. That he would probably he probably still be in jail today. Right. Yep. It was uh, it was two of them, so right. both of them would have was going to do yep. some time. Right. Hey, wow. go to um, first Esdras eight. And 69. Mm -hmm. Because Gabriel Eunice, they're supposed to be educating our children. Yeah. So we te we educating our children. Right. Don't lay with these damn devils. Don't lay with these damn right. devils. Okay? Don't lay with these damn devils. Right. We Actually, we have some of our children in here. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Okay? And you know what? You know what? I want to say this. And I was talking. I mentioned this to Deacon last night. A lot of you send your children out in the world unprepared. Mm-hmm. You send your children out thinking that every one of these nations love them. Hmm. These nations hate you. That's right. But you think they're going to love your children. But they, you think they're going to love your children. You take the hoodies out of your kid's closet, the dark clothing. You make them, uh, tell them, keep your hands out your pockets. Right. You give them all of these preparations, but you never told them that Esau is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's no? right. Hmm. That don't make no sense. You prepare everything else. How to drive, make sure you stay in your lane. If the police pull you over, put on your indicator, turn slowly into the lane. You give a whole damn breakdown of what to do. Is that feeding? Okay? And here's the thing. You have yet to tell them who the oh, enemy man. is. Yep. Wow. The Bible tells us who the enemy is. So we're going to teach. We're going to educate our children. Didn't Gabriel Union just say that? <laughs> we educate our children according to what God said. God say. So don't, read that. Don't educate your children according to what the, the, the television said. Right. To what Dr. the Lord according to, said. According to Dr. Phil. Yeah, according to Dr. Phil. Dr. Oz. To hell with all of that. Uh, uh, okay? Uh, 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 Atlanta Wives. Yeah, let, real, uh, love and hip-hop. Love right. and hip-hop. No, right. you must educate them according to the scriptures. That's right. So uh, here's some education for that ass. Read that scripture, and then uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we got to go on a break after that, right? Read that scripture. Read. First Ezra, chapter 8, and verse 69. The, nations, the nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and Levites, have not put away from them the strange people of the land. So Nate Parker, he should have learned his lesson. He should have learned his lesson. Put the strange, the peop the, the strange people. He should have said, you know what? I'm never dealing with an Edomite again. Yep. But what he did was he still went and still married another Edomite. Yeah. Go ahead. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. So now what, what they do is the things that the, that the heathen do our brothers start to do it. That's why you see a lot of brothers with, they, with their beard shaved off, with the Michael Jordan ball head. They said, you know what? We're going to marry these heathen women, and we're going to do their heathen customs. You see them with the Christmas specials? Yep. Okay, read. To wit of the Canaanites. It's real, the real African. Hittites. African. Pharisites. Come on. Jebusites. Uh-huh. And the Moabites. Uh-huh. Egyptians. As the Chinese, the Egyptian woman. Go ahead. And Edomites. See, they say they saved the best woman. for last. <laughs> Most I said to save the best for last. He was like, and that stinking Edomite. <laughs> I see, we should have put stinking it's in there. I can't, I, the can't I can't add to the word. I can't. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I can't add to the word. But it, it stinking would have just slid yeah. right in there. Right. Oh, that would have made it good. That's <laughs> skink. The Edomite woman is nothing but a bunch of skink. Go ahead. For both 
they and their sons have married with their daughters. Uh -huh. And the Holy Seed. And the what? The Holy Seed. And, and you know what was happening with there? Uh -huh. We was not teaching our children. We were not teaching our children. The right. same thing happened today. Right. We was not telling our children stay the hell away from these other nations. That's right. That's why children was marrying them. Right. It's the same spirit that's coming back today. Some of us are afraid to tell our children who the devil is. Right. You know, I got to say this. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I got to say this. I was thinking about this last time when Bishop was teaching. I miss the 50s. I miss the 60s, the 40s. You know why? Because during the 50s, the 40s, the 60s, we was teaching our children who the enemy was. Today, the today generation, listen, we don't want to, we don't want to tell our children nothing. Some of us said, oh no, you might, don't say nothing, you might traumatize them. Some of our children deserve to get traumatized. That's bro. right. That's right. I'm telling you. Some of our children deserve to get traumatized so they can change. Today you say, oh, some of us don't even want to bring slavery. Right. Oh, right. no, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. You're going to traumatize them. Shit. My son is six years old. He deserves to get traumatized. Maybe he can learn his damn lesson. When he sees this damn Edomite, he can run for the border. Right. Yes, right. <laughs> right. Right. That's right. Right. Wow. As soon as they Edomite, they, they young... Either my girl say hi, took off. Yep. I got to go. Be like Joseph. Run yep. out. Leave, run. Leave your book bag, your jacket, everything. Let's run. run. <laughs> That's right. But, but listen, but, but, you're not, but you want to bring them Christmas, Thanksgiving. Right, right, right. But yet you don't want to bring them the truth, who they are, the nationality. Right. That they are the Israelite. Right. Oh, no, they might get traumatized. Sick in the head. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead, Cap. Go ahead, verse and seven. The, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. So God says, your seed is a holy seed. The children of Israel have the holy seed. And it mixed with what? It's mixed with the strange people of the land. Come on. And from the beginning of this matter, the, ru the rulers and the great men have been partakers of this Iniquity. So it's sin to mix the holy seed, the hey. children of Israel, with the damn heathens, man. Cap, Cap, you know what that's saying? The children of Israel was trying to close, put clothes on a pig. Yes. Put lipstick a on, a on a pig. Put lipstick on a pig. <laughs> right. Pearl. Most I got say, you're going to put lipstick on a pig. Right. A pig is always going to be a pig. Uh -huh. That's right. You can dress a pig, hey, give a pig a bath, change his clothes. The pig is going to back, go back to the dirt. Yep. Why? A pig is a pig. It's a pig mm -hmm. by nature. That's, exactly. So what Israel is doing, Israel is thinking, oh, I'm going to marry the white man so I can change him. I'm going to marry the white woman so I can change him. That's their nature. Right. We, we read the article last night. The yeah. white man is calling his, his black wife, nigga bitch. Yeah, nigga bitch. That's his, listen, the nature, the, what is the nature of a lion? It's too hot. The nature of the white man is he is the devil. You cannot change the Can't devil. Change him. He was created to be what he is. Right. Here come the black woman. Oh, uh, brother, I think I can change him. He got money. I got, I got certain lifestyle. <laughs> Isn't that what the black woman was saying last hey, night? Somebody said you could polish a turd and make it a gold brick. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a piece of turd. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, uh, we got to go to book, uh, officer? Nah, I got to get verse 71 real All right, quick. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Kat. <laughs> verse 71. This is uh, 1 Ezra chapter 8, verse 71. Uh -huh. And as soon as I had heard these things, I rent my clothes. So as soon as we hear how our brothers, we see, we see it all the time when we're teaching. Brothers walking by with their Beckys thinking, thinking they top class. That's like a successful thing. Like when I get a Becky, I made it. Yep. I'm in the upper echelon now. No, you are now in the squalors with the pigs. That's right. right. What you think is not, you know, that's, you know, we think our reality, it's not reality. It's a damn fantasy. That's right. Okay? Because you, you're looking at us like, oh, you don't have a white woman. We're looking at you like, why the hell are you with that white woman? Right. Right. Mm. Finish that out. And the holy garment. And pulled off the hair from off my head. So this is how infuriated Ezra was. He pulled his own hair out at the sin that Israel was in by dealing with the other nations. You know how painful it is to pull your own hair out? Yep. That's some painful stuff. But Ezra was mimicking the pain that, that Israel is causing upon ourselves as a nation. 
okay? We're bringing death and destruction on ourselves by going against Most High God's commandments, man. All right, we're going to take a break real quick. We're, we're going to take, take a, break. a break. And then when we come back, we're going we're gonna to play a, uh, I, I, I got to play this. I got to play this. We're going to play, one, some, uh, one of your brothers sent, uh, sent a video this week about, uh, what, is, what is that article called? The Native Americans? No, no, not that one. This one right here. Oh, talking about Kaepernick. Yeah, Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, okay. We got to play this. We got to play that. Some. The, this 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 brother and sister right here right. say, say some stuff that oh, we gotta play this. Um, you know we are gonna bring you the news. Yes. All right, Israel, stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll be back in one uh, a, a minute, two minutes, like two minutes. Uh, we'll about two Periscope, minutes. stay on. Don't log off. We're gonna take a quick break on uh on Facebook Live, and we'll be right back, y'all. One, one thirty-three, brotherhood and unity. Okay, I walked in with fringes on me. Came in the truth, I lost my homies. I ain't tripping. I got new friends. It's the brotherhood. Ain't got time for phonies. I'ma serve the Lord. So you want to burn jerseys, do you? I'm about to show you what you should burn according to the Holy Bible. The white image of Jesus has been a plague in the minds of blacks and Latinos for four centuries. This is a staple of white supremacy. I'm about to show you according to Deuteronomy 7.25 what we should burn. So I challenge each and every one of you, burn this fake image of Jesus according to Deuteronomy 7.25. Deuteronomy 7.25 says to burn their images with Fire. Esta imagen que tuve aquí es la imagen de la bestia de acuerdo a la Biblia. Y de acuerdo a la Biblia, de Deuteronomio 7:25, hay que quemar esta imagen. Jesucristo no parece así. Es una imagen falso de acuerdo a la Biblia. Se quema. According to the Holy Bible, this is the false image of Jesus the Christ. This is the image of the beast that you read in the Holy Bible in the book of Revelation. I challenge all you so-called blacks and Hispanics to burn this false image according to Deuteronomy 7, verse 25. Yo, this is the image of the beast according to the Bible. And you know, said the most high word is like fire, and we gotta burn the image of the beast according to Deuteronomy 7 and 25. So more fire on the image of the beast. And everybody take up the image and burn it with fire because this is what our forefathers did, and this is what most high God command us to do. Alright? So more fire upon the beast. So, Israel, we li we li Israel, we back, we we're back, we're back. Patient Saints Radio, 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 Radio. So, we just took a quick break real quick. Um, we're going to come back with some, of course, more news pertinent to our people, okay? I don't think he's ready. Hey, your blood is ready? We're we having some technical difficulties. See, that's, that's, a, that's why you can't give Jake a break, man. You give Jake a break, they go, they go to the break room and snack, heat up their lunch. Hey, when Jake break, they break. Take they a cat break. nap. You know that Bernie Mac thing? Jake said, we break. He saw <laughs> sit at the table with his little cheese sandwich and don't move from his desk. Jake, go on break. <laughs> How you take a two-minute break and everything shut down? What the hell is going on here? Hey, hey a cheese sandwich and one of them little cartons of milk. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, nah, Jake man. go Ready? break. Jake go to Golden yeah. Crust, buy a big plate of food, all of that. What the hell is KFC. This? KFC. Cap, they're ready. All right. We're going to play a... Uh, um, uh, ESPN commentary. Hey, I'm, we're not going to play this whole thing. This is like 20 minutes, man. Damn, what minute, what minute mark are you on? Yeah, let, let's, you, let's just, let's read just the beginning let's part. Let's play really. the beginning part. Like the first two minutes. There's I a couple of things we are. Yeah, let's, let's read that. Let, let's, let's play that. Go ahead. To those who are offended or outraged by what Colin Kaepernick is doing, I have one question, and I'd like you to ask yourself this question to whom it may concern. Are you as angry about the circumstances and the conditions to which Colin Kaepernick is speaking as you are about his refusal to stand for the star, to not stand for the Star Spangled Banner. Stop. If not, then why not? Stop. Because stop. Stop. That's a very, very good question. If you notice, everybody focus on him not standing up, but then I focus on why he's not standing up. To those who are offended. 
Why is not standing up? That's a very good question because, uh, listen, listen. This is, this is the thing with Esau. This is the thing with Esau. And, and this brother and this sister, they're going to say it later on. This is the thing with Esau. And I'm going to give you an example. When you look at people like Jay-Z, people like Oprah, uh, Beyonce, I'm talking about people who got money. Mm. People who got money. The thing with Esau is that it's okay to have the money. Mm -hmm. But once you have that money, do not, do not go back and get, make you people better. Right. Mm -hmm. Do not go back in the black community. That's why you see Oprah go way over in Africa, right. open school, spend millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. But right there in Chicago, where she's from, it's black man is dropping dead Every single day. Right. You know why? Because remember, we read that we had to hate each other yep. and trust that's, in him. So that's it. If, if, if Esau allows us to go back and build up our communities, we and our, ourselves and our children will start to trust in our own people again. Yes. Right. Right. Esau exactly. can't have that. Nope. He can't have that. He said, no, 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 no. We can't have them trust in anyone other than us. Than us. That's it. That's why you see they got mad. That's why Esau got mad when Beyonce did that thing in Super Bowl. Because they said, wait a minute. What Beyonce is doing was, Beyonce is bringing back black pride. Right, right. Do not bring black pride. No, no. We, you got million of dollars, just shut up and enjoy it. Do not bring black pride. Mm. Yeah, buy, go buy some rims yep. and some gold teeth and some, some uh, diamonds in it. And do all of that stuff. Exactly. Right. That's why you see, I like what he said. He said, hey, people is focusing on him not standing up, but they're not focusing on why he's not standing up. All right. Then the media is not saying, oh, he's doing this because of the oppression that's been going on right. to black people in this country for so long. But they just say, oh, well, he's disrespecting the, the, uh, 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 the military, blah, blah. What the hell have to do with the military? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he, he said he's not doing it uh, disrespecting the military. Right. Right. He has family in the military. You know what's so heavy about what you guys said? What you said, Deacon, in regards to Beyonce and what she did in the Super Bowl. And then you look at the way that our women wear the blonde hair. That afro can kindle a spark in the mind of our people. You understand? Mm -hmm. Esau <laughs> wants that suppressed. Yeah, of course. That's a, yeah, that's I don't a good even point. Want, I don't even... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Just the afro alone, alone can, the bring, can bring black pride. Can bring it back. Yep. That's he's, all. He sort of won that. Nope. If, if you notice, Colin Kaepernick has his afro going. Yep. He sort of don't like that. Beer. Hey. He sort of don't like that. So, right. you know, like, like he just said, they're not looking at the reason why he's not standing. Right. Okay. Nope. Right. So, real quick, Jeremiah 50 and verse 6 and 7. Jeremiah 50 and verse 6 and 7. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. The children of Israel have been lost and fallen away from their true nationality, what they must be doing in keeping God's laws. They've lost from that. That's why Christ came for that which is lost in Matthew 18 11. He came for the lost sheep. Come on. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. So our shepherds, our leaders, our, our, our forerunners of our people, They've caused us to go astray because they've said, you know what? Go vote. What the hell voting going to do for us? Right. Nothing. They over here endorsing either Hillary or, or, or what's his name? Uh, Donald Trump. Right. Or they're saying, uh, trusting, you got to have, what is it? You got to have a jump shot to get out the hood. You got to, they tell you to trust in everything. They, you go astray from God's laws. Go ahead. We, we trust in oppression. Right. We don't. They have turned them. Away on the mountain. Uh -huh. They have gone from the mountain to hill. They've gone from place to place. Go ahead. They have forgotten their resting place. Our resting place is God's word. Mm -hmm. That's right. We've forgotten God's word. Yep. That's yes. right. Because our people have no clue. Our, in, in our resting place, God's word, it tells us where our homeland is. Right. That's because right. we've turned from this, now we're looking at Africa. We, we, we trusted in everything else except God's word. Yeah. Come on. All that found them have devoured them. Every nation has devoured us. 
every single nation on this planet. Go ahead. And their adversary said, we offend not. Wait, 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 wait. So they're not looking at the root of the problem why nope. Kaepernick is not standing because they say what? We offend not. Not. They say, no, he's against his country. Hmm. He's anti-American. Yep. He's a communist. He's a damn, what do you call it, a terrorist. terrorist. He's right. everything else because they say we have not offended anybody. Yep. We have not been gunning black men down in the streets. We're street. not guilty. We're not guilty. Isn't that what the white girl say? That's what she said. The white girl say, we, we're not guilty. Mm -hmm. Look, the cop said, put your hands up. Yep. After he put your hands up, he shoots you. We're not guilty. Right. I can kill you, kids in the middle of the street. We're not guilty. Right. Mm, mm. We are not guilty. We offend the white men say, listen, yes, we killed 77 million American Indians to store this land. We're not guilty. We're not guilty. Tell Let's build up courthouse. Let's build up churches. Right. We're not guilty. Right. Isn't what they're saying? Right. Absolutely. It's we it. are not guilty. Right. I can go in the Middle East and bomb the hell out of the Palestinian, bomb the hell out of the Arab, kill children, kill women. But when they come here, they do the same thing. Hey, hey, they're terrorists. Yep. But guess what? We're not oh, guilty. Oh, man, you're the spirit, D. Isn't what they say? Right. Hey, that's what, that's what that devil, I got, I got to emphasize on that, that devil mm, mm. Tommy Lawrence said. Bring it out. Tommy Lawrence says you have the, uh, because of this country, you have the right to sit on a bench like a whiny baby. Damn. To talk about the, the things going on in the African American community. Well, why don't you take responsibility that's for the right. things going on in the African American community? Right. Hey, that's why we're not playing her today. Cause that devil made me want to break the TV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you demon. straight. She made me want to throw something at the TV, how right. mad she makes me. But guess what? She's doing her damn job. Yeah, right. she's the devil right. the bad she's, she's doing, doing her, her job. job. She is being the devil she is. Right. Okay. Mm. So I said. You know what? I'm not gonna break my little TV because I ain't got no money to replace it. Right. So let <laughs> just like just like the right. brothers say, just like the brothers say, mm -hmm. Tommy, what's her name? Tommy Lawrence. Tommy Devil. Tommy, Tommy Devil. Devil. You a virus. Right. Dang. That's what you are. You are a virus. Yep. Mm -hmm. You and your people are a virus. Your guys destroy everything that's beautiful. Everything. Mm -hmm. You are right. a virus. Hey. You ain't no nation. You a virus. And you know, I'm part of that. Was so heavy. You destroy everything beautiful. What yeah. did the Lord tell us we are? The beautiful. children of Israel. That's right. right. Yep. Dang. A deacon. We, he, they destroyed us. Damn. And we are the most beautiful things that the Most High God has ever made. Dang. A deacon, like you always say, Tom, uh, Tommy, she the, she the type of devil. You don't got to ask her. Are you racist? You just, nope. You can smell it. You, just you know, know, from now on, that's what I'm going to call know. the so called white man. You a virus. You're a virus. Yeah. The virus. That, the that, virus. Yeah, that Damn. Clip, that clip is heavy. Hey, that's that's heavy. Hey. And, 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 and look, at the end of what he said, he says, the only way to get rid of a virus is to have a bigger virus come along and come take, along. take over. And who's that? The black Messiah. The black Jesus Messiah. Christ. That's right. That's, right. that's, that, that's who's going to come and that's take them out of their damn place. Hey, where's the take bombs at, brother? Down. No bombs? <laughs> ah, nah. That's what we gotta deal with that face radio. <laughs> what we gotta deal with. The producer sit behind the thing. Yeah, yo, where's, the, where's the where's the bomb? We, oh, we got bombs. Why we didn't play? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Esau don't hold his bombs just no, to hold no. them. Esau drop his bombs. Wow. The hell is this? Hey, hey, Cap. Can yeah. we go back to that verse? Yeah, go finish, back to that. Verse seven. Again. Seven. Seven is exactly what you're gonna say. Jeremiah fifty verse seven. Mm -hmm. All that found them have devoured them. The other nations. Go ahead. And. Their adversary said, we offend not. Didn't, isn't that what you just said, Deacon? Yeah, they hold themselves not. not guilty, right? Hold themselves not guilty. I didn't do it. We can do it. It's okay. They're yep. the reason their communities are like that. Right. Yep. Read on. But, Why? Oh, oh. Damn. But you, you, know, you know what's so heavy? You know what's so heavy? Mm -hmm. Just like the guy said, in the news, last month was the bloodiest month in Chicago. Mm. The white man is the one who put their gun in our hand. Believe it or not, I know some of you thinking, no, that's not true, brother. Oh, yes. How many black people you know make guns? Right. Any, any of you Negroes make guns? Where, they gun, where the hell did the gun come from? The last time I look in the ghetto, you don't make no guns. Right. Where the hell did the gun come from? They put the gun in your hand, kill each other, then they sit back and say, yep. we are not guilty. Right. Hey, they, they, put, they put all the elements in there. Yeah. yeah. Because we, we've been over this a few times on the show. They did what is called redlining. 
they redlined, which means they made the ghettos. Right. The yep. ghettos were created. That's why they're called projects. 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 Exactly. They were they were literally projects that were put into place to see what would happen if they put you in certain environments exactly. and predicaments together. Yep. Right. So in those environments. They redlined it where no real estate agent would give you any residence, being a so-called black or Hispanic, mm. outside of that redlined area. Yep. Mm. So let's say downtown Atlanta. Downtown Atlanta, let's say they say that's going to be the ghetto for the blacks. So-called blacks could not buy outside of downtown Atlanta. Right. True. Okay. They read. And, this, and listen, these were government agencies that did that. Yep. Right. The right. FHA. These are government agencies that did it. It ain't some one real estate agency I'm not selling to blacks. No, the government put it, it, in, place put it in place to make yeah. sure that we stayed in certain areas. And guess what? Like, like Deacon and Officer just brought out, we don't make the guns. Mm -mm. They did something called benign neglect. Yep. That's, it, That's it. Benign That's it. neglect. neglect. So That's it. They, Bring it out. They redlined to create the ghettos. Benign neglect means they pulled the police out of that area. Right. Now, we weren't getting jobs. Mm -hmm. There's no jobs in those areas. Mm -mm. So we, what we were doing, we were cleaning houses. We were ironing clothes. Right. Yeah. We, were being, right. we were domestic help, factory work. We weren't making any money. So in your area, you live in poor conditions because those landlords also neglected those homes and buildings exactly. that they own. Right. So they weren't fixing anything. So you ain't got no hot water. Your, uh, your gas ain't working. The, and listen, we from, the, we from the, uh, New York, so I know about... The, 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 the 70s and 80s in the in New York, mm. abandoned buildings. They, Bishop brought it out last night. Abandoned buildings. This is what we lived in, and it was created. Mm -hmm. They pulled the police out, put in drugs, put in uh, uh, guns, guns, alcohol. put alcohol, alcohol, okay, to numb the pain of the, of the condition we're in. Matter of fact, I'm glad you just said that, Slumlord. There's a movie with uh, Joe Pesci mm -hmm. called Slumlord. It was based in New York where he was a slumlord that wouldn't fix anything, anything. in the building. Yep. There's a movie about it. There's a movie about that. And that is how Esau has done. Amalek, the Jewish people, yeah, um, right. the That's Italians, crazy. they all, um, um, Italians is another one too. Albanians mm -hmm. own a lot of real estate in New York. Mm -hmm. And what they do, they, they neglected it all through the 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, they neglected it, put the, pull the cops out. And then we got the recipe for destruction. Right, yep, and right. now they sit back and say, look, look at them. Look, right, look what right. they've done to themselves. Mm. Mm. The devils that they are. Dang. Yep. Can we finish that out? Finish that out. That's heavy, Cap. Hey, Cap, um, Cap and Deacon, there's a saying in Chicago. They say it's, it's, easier to find a, it's easier to find a gun than it is to find a parking spot. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Jeremiah. What the hell was that? <laughs> we have a Judah, is, Judah is crazy, bro. What the hell was that? The brother uh -uh. breathed breathe mad hard into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> was that a bomb? Hey, that was the bomb. Was he that, said we bro? lacking. What the hell was that? That was a bomb? I thought somebody said oh, into the mic. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, welcome to Special <laughs> oh, Effects man. from Patient Saints Radio, y'all. Oh, my God. Come on now. Yeah, like, yeah. A big, a big, like somebody take a deep breath. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. That bomb didn't have no explosion at the back. That's it. Come on, brother. Stop uh, verse 7. Read, read go that. ahead. Go ahead. Read. Verse 7. Uh -huh. All that found them have devoured them. Come on. And their adversary said, we offend not. We don't offend by doing the things, by making the red lines. That's right. By putting them in project housing, then pulling them out, demolishing all their housing. Right. You understand? Gentrification. We're not, at, we're, not at, we're not at fault for that. Yeah, guilty. Go ahead. Because they have sinned against the Lord. Because those Negroes sinned against their God. So we're entitled to do these things. Eggs, we can treat them the any point. damn way we that want to. That is the point right there. They feel it's their um, manifest destiny. Right. <laughs> because we sinned against the Lord, they can do whatever they want. Right. Read on. The hap. The habitation of justice. The habitation of justice. So that's the, no justice, no peace. You ain't going to get justice. Right. The heavenly father is your justice. That's right. You got you to gotta put yourself, you got you to gotta be keeping God's commandments, man. Give yourself to the Lord. Go ahead. Even the Lord. Even the Lord. Go ahead. The hope of their fathers. The hope of everybody's fathers. The hope 
of their father. From the beginning of time, the Lord has always been the hope of us, of the nation of Israel. He's always fought for us. However, today we trust in Esau. Right. That, that we've made Esau, we made the devil, the porky pig, our hope. <laughs> He's a porky pig. <laughs> I took it back. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You got more of that scripture or are we going to finish play this? Yeah, finish playing that. Hey, play, hey, finish play that, uh, officer. And if not, then why not? Because as usual, the conversation and the rhetoric, Jamel, immediately shifts from the problem to the protest, from the reaction to the, instead of the root of the issue. Predictably, not surprisingly at all. No, not at all. And especially when, whenever we talk about the national anthem, or um, uh, or any of any of the symbols that we've come to associate freedom and this country together, those are very sensitive issues to a lot of people. I wish Alex Boone. I don't know if he did this former teammate of Colin Kaepernick's. I wish he would have bothered to hear what he had to say about the military in particular, because Colin Kaepernick made it very clear as he explained himself that this was not in disrespect to military or support of the military, many of which he said were in his own family, that he has the utmost respect for them. And I think we need to get to a point where we stop drawing that line between if you have issues about things happening in this country and if you choose to do what he did, and he's not the first athlete to do it, it's a long line that I have, then that does not mean you don't support the military. It's kind of like when we have the conversation about Black Lives Matter. Like, that doesn't mean I don't support the police. So let's stop putting those two things together because they're not, that's not what he's talking about. And he made it clear that he felt like the troops and those serving were doing exactly what they should be doing in defending our country, defending our freedoms. The we're, very freedom which he just exercised. Exactly. We're the ones that are not holding up the other end as in being the type of country of at all times that that's the root of his discussion but i'm with you mike is that everybody now is so focused on the symbolism that they're not paying attention to what he's trying to draw attention to way more angry at that at one person standing up or in this case sitting for what he believes in in the land of the free and the home of the brave and doesn't that. carry mm -hmm. he, he, he messed up right there <laughs> this is the land of the thieves right and the home of the slaves, slaves. that's right, right. Okay. repeat that again that's this is right. the land of the thieves and the home of the slaves. That's where he, he messed up. Because we tend to think this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. No. Right. It's the land of the thieves and the home of the slaves. Hey, uh, hey, Esau, hey, Esau is a virus. Esau ain't no damn brave. Right. Hey, Esau stole everything. Right. Hey, and also, that's copywritten by Captain Shemaya. The brother comes up with everything. King should not be in the ghetto. <laughs> T-shirt coming out. T-shirt coming out soon, Israel. <laughs> oh, y'all crazy. Hey, but but they you know they made a good point. What Esau is doing is grouping him with every foul thing of uh, that's a, a so-called anti-American. So now all of a sudden he's against the military. He's against this country. He's against this. He's against that. Mm -hmm. Just by saying I'm not standing for yeah. the national anthem because first of all, and I'm I'm so glad Bishop went over this. Last night, the national anthem, mm. okay, the stanza, there's four more parts to the national anthem. Wow. Mm. But nobody has said, you know what? The national anthem is racist. Right. Nope. Because in, in, as you go into the second and third part, it talks about the slaves. Mm. So wait a minute. So you're telling me Colin Kaepernick not standing is anti-American, mm. right? But your song is anti so-called blacks and Hispanics. Yep. So why the hell should we stand for it? Nobody's nobody want to talk about that though. That's oh that's not newsworthy. No. That's not newsworthy. Because that's going to show that all your origins is of the damn devil. That's right. Mm. Everything that you built this country on, this foundation that you built it on, is of the damn devil. Right. Because it was built on robbery. It was built on murder. It was built on rape. It was built on pure injustice. Yep. Mm. Okay. So now you want us to stand for a song that was written during that time that exemplifies that because you adjusted it by cutting out the last three parts. That's right. Mm. We ain't standing for nothing. I, hey, I can't tell the last damn time I stood for a damn national anthem. It, it, years ago. I, I mean, yeah, I can't I, tell. My children, don't, when, they was in, when they was in regular school, they right. didn't stand for it. Right, right. Okay? We ain't standing for no damn flag. Get the hell out of here. Hey, give me the. Actually, finish play that. 
And just because Colin Kaepernick doesn't carry around a rifle does not mean that this is not a courageous fight that he is taking up. So somebody standing up for what he believes in, okay, offends their sensibilities more than what he's actually talking about. You're okay with racial oppression. You're okay with systemic racism. You're fine with that. You are, or you're at least not as outraged as you are about somebody not symbolically following a tradition. You're okay with people abuse, up, uphold, abusing the role of upholding law and order, but you have a problem with somebody breaking tradition. What Colin Kaepernick believes has nothing to do with what you believe. If he chooses to, choose to act on that, then so be it. America was here before Colin Kaepernick. It's going to be here after Colin Kaepernick. Whether or not he stands or sits for the anthem does not mean that that flag represents any more or less than it does. Stop. Ultimately. Stop. <sighs> this is what we were saying earlier. You see, this is the thing with the so-called white man. This is the thing with them. If in this country, again, in this country, if you're making money, you have no right to complain. You have no business complaining as long as you make it. You see, this is, this is what your brothers and sisters don't get. I'm talking about to our, with to our people. I'm talking to our people. We are the only people... When we're talking, we're talking individual. We never talk as a whole. Some of you say stuff like, well, Oprah with a, 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 a couple of billion dollars. Jay-Z got a billion dollars. Michael Jordan got this, Michael. Listen, 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 listen. Do you know that's not, we don't even have 1%, not even half of 1% who got money? What I'm saying to you is that we have to start thinking as a whole, as a nation. Because when you're looking at the 12 tribe of Israel, it's 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Simeon, and go on down. Right. We are the only people always thinking about me, myself, and I. You got to stop thinking like that. They are the the so-called Chinese don't think like that. The so-called white men don't think like that. And they want you to think like that. That's what he's saying. That's exactly what he's saying. They're not thinking about the oppression. They're not talking about the racism. They're not thinking about that. Or everybody's focused on, oh, he don't, he, don't, he don't stand up. He disrespecting the flag. Hell with your flags. What about the oppression black people been suffering in this country for over 400 years? Right. Nobody want to say nothing about that. Right. And by the way, I got to say this. Some of you might not know this, but in the contract, for example, for example, for example, somebody, when you look at somebody like Jay-Z, when you look at those basketball players, the football players, in the contract, and you can go research this, you don't have to take my word for it, like always, in the contract, there is something they put in the contract that when they, when they give them those multi-million dollars contract, mm -hmm. Uh, part of the contract is that the signs that they cannot take that money to go back to the black community. In the deals. In the deals. That's part of the contract. Mm -hmm. They cannot go back to the black community and build it up. Mm -hmm. That's why you see, let's go, let's talk about the NBA. Mm -hmm. That's why you see when you look at the NBA, for example, when you look at there's a show, there was a show called, I don't know if that show is still in the air, with, uh, what's, what's his name, Rashad, who is called NBA. Amar Rashad. Amar Rashad. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was that call? Show? I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, was, you never yeah, know this? Yeah. Those black NBA players, they, sh they go back, they show you they go back to the community, do them with their kids. You never know this? There's always a bunch of little Esau around them. Right, right. You right. never know this? You never know this? That? Little basketball camps. Yes. Things you like never know this? That yeah. it's always may maybe one Jake, mm -hmm. one little kid Jake. The contract saying they cannot go back in the black community and help black the black community. That's why you see they're always around Esau. It's in the contract. That's why you see Oprah take her money, right. go all the way down in Africa instead of doing it in the black community. Right. When her people right here in Chicago is killing each other. It's in her contract. The same thing with Jay-Z. Where Jay-Z from? The Bronx? Brooklyn? I mean Brooklyn? She's from Brooklyn. Jay-Z cannot take her, her million, his million dollars going to Brooklyn and say, oh, I'm going to fix the project. Nah. It's in his contract. He went right. to Africa. 
good too. That's what I'm saying to y'all. Oh, the water, right, right. right, right. Water That's what I'm saying. Damn. Why? Because the white men, the white men want the oppression to continue. They want our people, like you said earlier, to depend on them. Right. Because when you put all these so-called superstars, all these basketball players, all these football players got multi million dollars, don't you, don't you, don't you never know this? Like, well, how come they didn't come together and say, listen, we're going to be one of the biggest corporations just put all black people to work? Right. You, you, you never ask yourself a question, why none of them take like that? It's in the a perfect example of that is uh, uh, Damien Dash. Yes. Uh, what is the guy's name? Shug Damien Knight. Dash, Suge Knight, and uh, the other guy. Um, the guy the from uh, Murder Inc. Earth uh, Gotti. Earth Gotti, they was planning to open their own uh, distribution. Their right. own distribution. The white men shut them down. Shut right. it down. One by one. And James Prince. I'm going like, yeah. to like the so called Jewish shut them down. Why? Right. Because they know once they open it, that was it. That's, that was it. Yeah. They're going to say, hey, listen, we don't have to depend on the white men to distribute our music. We can do our own damn thing. That's why they shut them down. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hey, they Thank said you. that right there. Jay Z yep. snitched on all of them. All brothers. of them brothers. Yep. Right. That's why they shut them down. Right. Right. Because he saw they know that was going to do it until Jay Z go and snitch on and them. And then that's why they propelled Jay Z. That's up. why that's they put Jay Z it. up. That's it. That's why they destroyed them in Dash. That's why today Shugnat is in jail. They destroy all of them. Get destroyed. You don't even heard from Middle Ink no more. No. All of them get destroyed. Esau destroy all of them. Right. Mm. It. Mm. What I'm saying to you, this they they plan it like that. They put it like that. They plan it where you cannot rise. Do you always got to depend on them for everything? The minute they found out, you try to do your own thing. Nope, shut them niggas down. Right. Shut them down. Mm. Go, go. You was gonna say something, officer? No, not so, you. Uh, uh. Yeah. I had the script you wanted. Yeah, the script you wanted. Yeah, read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The scripture says oppression maketh a wise man mad. We've been, we've been an oppressed people for over 400 years. But everybody, nobody want to talk about that. Don't talk about that. Do not talk about that. But, but everybody want to talk about, oh, oh Hitler, Hitler killed 7 million. Right. Uh, 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 Jewish. Hell with you, 7 million. Right. What about the 77 million you devils killed to steal, to steal this land? What about the hundred, more than 100 million you killed during this slave passage? Yo. Nobody want to talk about that. Why, and why doesn't anybody bring that up? Nope, nobody want to bring that up. Nope. That was, that was a long time ago. No, don't bring that up. It, it, it baffles me. It's not somebody, every, listen, I'm going to tell you straight. Just pay attention. Every year, Esau puts out Holocaust movies. Yes, every year. X-Men, Inglorious Bastards. Yep. Um, what's that? Saving Private Ryan. Yep. Um, what's the, that's one of the tank one recently. Fury. They got a couple of them coming this year, I too. I mean, it's countless. Every year. And like I said, a lot of oh, um, uh, Captain America. Yep. Captain America was all of those, all of those movies. They keep pushing it out to push into your mind because you have become more sensitive to the Jewish man's so-called Holocaust than your, than your than own your Holocaust. Holocaust. Yep, right. than your own Holocaust. That's exactly what they're because doing. Because they continue to push it out. And that's something that Hitler said. Hitler said they controlled all the newspapers, mm -hmm. they controlled all of the media, and they pushed out their own agenda. Hitler said that. And that's exactly what they do today. Right. They control your... They, they own all the damn uh, news stations. Right. Hey, don't you notice that that one movie that that, that blood of pocket did? They tried to stop it from coming out. Yeah. About slavery. Yeah. They tried to stop it from coming out. Yep. The birth of a nation. Yeah. They tried to stop it from coming out by bringing his past. That's what exactly what they tried to do. Mm. Discredit him before the movie come out. Right. So black people want to go support it because they know that. Listen, it was not. That's why I keep we keep telling you, the so called white men they are not stupid. Right. right? They know that one movie, believe it or not, that one movie can wake up our people up. That's right. That's that right. one movie can make our people start questioning everything. Don't you think they know that? Now they try to say, oh, you know something? Let's discredit him before the movie come out. So black people won't go and look at it. Mm -hmm. So they'll have that in their mind they as they that watch in their the mind. movie. Yep. Oh, he's a rapist. He's a rapist. Why should we support a movie that hey, he's a rapist? Right. That's what, they, that's what they're doing. Uh, mm. Daniel 9 and 12. Daniel 9 and 12. Because like, like we just mentioned, they always try to make it their Holocaust was this, their Holocaust yep. was that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna tell you. There's a there's a there's a um a documentary called um the greatest lie never told. The greatest lie never told. This these commentaries, these uh, historians and commentaries and people who put that 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 thing together showed that it was physically impossible to kill six million people in the time frame that they said it was done. Yep. It, I'm gonna say it again. It was that's why I said the so-called Holocaust. It was physically impossible to kill six million people in that short span of time. Right. By the way they said it was through the furnace. What is that in, in the, the, in the, the ovens. gas chambers? And in the gas chambers. Right. Yep. They went, listen, they went into the gas chambers. Right. They went where the ovens were that burned the bodies. And they did the, ma listen, you know, Esau say his numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. Esau say that. His numbers proved, his analysis proved that it was impossible to kill 6 million people. They said in order to kill 6 million people, the oven had to burn 24, 24 hours, hours, something like 20 years or something like right. that. Right, right. I think 20 years straight. Right. They had to burn bodies every single day, all day, for like 20 years to fit into those ovens they right. said that the, the so-called Jewish man was killed in. Right. It was impossible for it to happen. The greatest, is this the story greatest, yeah, the greatest told. story never told. That's it. It's on YouTube. And as a matter of fact, Captain, if you, I'm not sure if people know, the bodies that were burnt were the sick, those that were already sickly. <laughs> he sounds a liar. Damn, damn. But the Negro we'll believe that. that. Right. Go ahead. Uh, Daniel chapter 9 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And he had confirmed his word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil. Uh -huh. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done unto Jerusalem. You see that? Upon Jerusalem. So now the Bible says. The children of Israel, no one will have go through as much as they grow through under the whole heaven. So now let's do the math. I'll give you, I'll give them six million. Mm -hmm. Let's say we give you six million. Right. Can you compare that to what happened to blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans? Mm -hmm. Nope. No. Not at all. Almost a hundred million of so-called blacks died in the Middle Passage alone. Damn. That's just transportation. That's not even those that were killed here. No. Nope. Right. We're not even counting what Kukulas Klan killed. We're not even counting K -K -K -K. none of that. And you know what? And you know what's funny, Deacon? In most of the studies, all those who were lynched and killed are not ever counted. Nope. They're never counted. They're never counted. Nope. Okay? So I'm talking about hundreds of millions of so-called blacks died in this land. The Bible says no one else on the planet would have gone through more than the children of Israel. And you can't prove to me that anyone has gone through more than us. Right. So I'll give you your six million. That six million proves you're not the children of Israel. That's, That's right. It. That's right. That six million proves you're not the children of Israel. Hmm. Okay? So you keep your little Holocaust movies coming. The Israelites is always going to prove that you're not the true Jews according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. The history confirms the prophecy. Okay? They have come into our neighborhoods. They've used us as guinea pigs. And then we say, we say they haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We actually confirmed that. Yeah. We got mad at Kaepernick for, for sitting down against something that is being done ill against children of Israel in this land. Wow. For over 400 years. Beca oh, because guess what? Mike Brown ain't the first. Trayvon ain't the first. They ain't going to be the last either. <laughs> I'm talking about there were times... And, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to bring that book. I might, I might bring it out in class tonight. Mm -hmm. They would hang us, burn our bodies, castrate us, fill our bodies with bullets, and have their children stand there and applaud yeah. and make postcards out of it. Yep. They made postcards out of it. But now, oh, no, 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 Trayvon, Mike Brown. Of course those are atrocities. But tell me when has not the black man been getting killed in America? Mm. somebody call in and tell me a time where so-called black men were not being slaughtered in the streets of America. Tell me any time. Any time. Hey, Cap, that phone is quiet. Anybody, comment. <laughs> comment on Periscope. 
Tell me a time in this place that the so-called black man was not getting killed in the streets of America. Anyone. Tell me a time period. Do you want to say the 1600s? We damn sure know that ain't true. How about the 1700s? Right. Nope. 1800s? Negative. 1900s. How did they make us kill ourselves? In the late 1900s, we, was got, we got crack. Right. Yep. <laughs> they put crack in the neighborhood. They put crack and heroin in our neighborhoods. Is it the 2000s? No, because now we have the Mike Browns. We have the Trayvon Martins. So at what point in America have we not been getting gunned down in the streets? Right. Exactly. There was never a time. There was never a time. Never a time. Okay? Mm. So, you, so you definitely shouldn't be standing for no daggone flag. Because that flag has never done anything for you. Mm. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't care if you've got a job. That's right. I don't care because you have not been thinking about your people. Under that flag, you've been getting slaughtered in the streets. Okay? Under that flag was the black code laws, the pig laws, yep. Jim Crow. Yep. All of those things, mass incarceration, that was all under, under that, flag. that flag. Right. So what had that flag done for black people in right. America? Nothing. But oppress you. Nothing That's but it. oppress you. Um. Real quick, um, real quick on the same same uh, I don't want this. Talk real quick. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Real quick. Um, <laughs> Damn. Real quick. Um, page twenty nine of medical apartheid. Um, verse uh verse. It says southern medicine of the eighteenth and early nineteenth centuries was harsh infective and experimental by nature physicians memoirs medical journals and planters records and reveal that enslaved black americans bore the worst abuse of these cruelty and practical practices which which what's that uh countenanced a hazard degree of adhoc experimentation in medications dosages and even spontaneous surgical experiments in a daily practice among slaves. Mm. So the medical dosages, the medications, we were guinea pigs. Mm. We were then and we are now. Right now. Wow. Still guinea pigs. Nothing changed. And it mentions about the, the shot and nor plant. Those are in effect today. Right, right. Wow. Those are in effect today. Okay? Those are medical experimentations on our people. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. All <sighs> praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. All praises for another Patient Saints radio show. Yes, sir. All praises. It's always a pleasure to be here doing the most high God's work. I pray it was edifying to you. I pray that you all learn something from it. We got much more. We can't. We can't we oh, yeah. Yeah we, yeah. we didn't even get through everything today. We didn't even get through everything. Because that beach. <laughs> that beach. <laughs> Got us upset about that damn fake rape allegations. Right. But in any event, all praises for tuning into Page States Radio. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube page. Subscribe to our YouTube page. It's IUIC ATL Patient Saints Radio. Okay? Make sure you subscribe. We have all of, mostly all of our radio shows that we do is there. We have the videos there. You can go back and watch old ones and, and send them to friends to spread the word. Spread the most high God's word into the four corners of the earth. Okay? Also, we have IUIC Podcast. That's IUIC Podcast for great lessons from our bishops and deacons, okay, to give you more understanding and edification of God's word. Okay, make sure you log in to IsraelUnite.org. Sign up, uh, log in for uh, online classes three days a week, three times a day, seven days a week for free, okay? You log in, you type in your name, your email address, and you can log into class. Get the class schedules. We have classes beginning at 5 in the morning then midday, then in the evening, okay? So log in to be edified. You can ask questions, things of that nature. And also, here on Patience Radio, you know y'all could call in, right? Y'all could call in, ask your questions. Ask your questions, ask your questions. We like hearing our brothers and sisters call in, all right? Also, we have, uh, don't forget, donations, donations, donations. Your donations help keep this nation going, okay? Help us get the truth out there as far as going to different lands, helping the body, Okay, if you feel uncomfortable giving donations, you can do it on IUIIsraelite.org uh, as well, slash donations, or you can go to originalroyalty.com. 
Original royalty purchased merchandise like Bibles, Apocryphas, T-shirts, fringes, menorahs, shofars. We have it all, okay? All, the, all of your Israelite needs, we have it, okay? Even ribbon of blue. We got suede fringes. We got it all. Got top-notch fringes, okay? <laughs> so do that. Log in, and those, those proceeds go to helping the body, okay? Um, anything else? I think that's it. Uh, oh, our school location. Yes, we have a school here in Atlanta. It's 6598 Jonesboro Road. That's 65. Oh, damn, my bad. <laughs> six five nine eight Tara <laughs> Boulevard. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Six five nine eight Tara Boulevard in Jonesboro, Georgia. Six five nine eight Tara Boulevard, Jonesboro, Georgia. Okay, and we fellowship on a Sabbath day at four o'clock. So come learn your nationality, learn your history, learn God's word and how to keep His laws, statutes, and commandments with faith. And the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. That's, that's right. Thank you for tuning in, Israel. And with that, we say shalom. We say shalom. shalom. Most high God bless you. Most high Christ, 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 Christ bless. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.